This is code.org and we are going to import cake and cookie from Java. If you don't have it, like always, you can copy it over. I got it though. So let me go ahead and backpack and grab cookie and cake. And that's what we have here. Write a two string method to return string containing the super class two string, the icing flavor and the number of layers of a cake object. Oh, wow, we're getting fancy. So let's do one thing at a time. We just did in the previous one, right? We just did a two string method in our dessert class. So we do have that as somewhat of a reference right here two string. So I'm going to start with that and I'll head over to cake. I'm just going to scroll all the way down here and let's go ahead public. Uh, and it is a string. We know that we're returning a string public string two string, no parameter and bam. Now, what do I have here that's unique? Well, within the cake class, we have the number of layers and the icing flavor. Do they show us what they'd like it to look like at all? No. Oh, that is helpful too, though. We'll get to that. So we know we have the number of layers and the icing flavor. So I'm going to do return. And I guess I'll say number of layers, colon, plus, uh, what's the variable? Num layers. Plus, right, and we learned this last uh, last chunk, last bubble, uh, the in, this in slash in right here is how, is a new line character. So we do need that in quotes. It is considered a string. So in, and then I'm not going to put a space because I don't want the next line to start with a random space over. And let's see, we got a number of layers. Ooh, async flavor. Boom. And boom, boom. Async flavor. So far, so good. Now, the problem with this is this is only going to print out the data for the cake. And what it's asking us to do is for it to also print out the information from our super class. I want to just test this though to start off, right? So we have dessert here. I'm going to go ahead and do, I guess I'll leave this. Let me go down here and do cake. Uh, my cake, I guess. Sure. Ooh, cake. And then the flavor will be lemon. That sounds terrible, but whatever. And then the number of layers will be eight because it's huge. All right. And then let me go ahead and do my system.out.print ln uh, my cake. And let's see if this is successful so far. And we have an issue. What did I do here? Oh, whoops. Oh, wow. Oh, of course. I have to set flavor and uh, icing a new price. New flavor is layers and integer. Okay. Flavor new icing is a string. Okay. Let me just, I'm going to forget all these. Let's go back over here. I need to make sure I'm setting everything when I'm testing this. So new flavor we got. Layers I got. New icing, uh, what's, what, I don't, but apple icing, I know that doesn't exist, whatever, that probably exists, and new price, uh, $15.99, I have no idea, all right, boom, all right, let's try that, okay, here we go. And so we have flavor blueberry. This is the old one, though. Keep in mind, this was the old thing. I'm going to comment that out just for clarity right now. Cool. Keep, so great. We have the cake class running. We also want this super, right? Because cake will, bloop, here's cake. Cake does extend dessert. But what's going to run since I have a cake object? Well, cake says, okay, two string. And keep in mind the two string, the reason this runs automatically is Java has an internal two string function. And so it would run the method. However, since we've created our own, we're overwriting the internal method. So when we do this, Java says I have to run two string. And it first though checks our class and says, Ooh, I have an option here. And so I'll run the version they made. Now I want to use my resources. This is only printing out the data from the cake class, but look at this. Call a super class method using the following syntax super dot method name. Now it might be tempting. Let's do this first super. I'm not going to throw a method name in there, right? Because I'm thinking, ah, if I can just print out this and Java automatically knows to do two string on it, 
well, then I should be able to do this. And it's really not going to like that. You actually are going to need to give it more detail this time and do the two string. Notice, though, that I left off a line break previously. So let me head over to my dessert class. And now I'm going to go ahead and have this end with a new line. Oop, I missed it. Great, so that's looking good. Now, since we have it working for the cake class, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it because it's gonna be pretty similar for the other copy. I'm gonna head over to cookie. And right here, I guess I'll do paste. And now I need to change out these values. So let's see, diameter, so diameter. And then I'll use this variable. And then what else do we have here? We have is chewy at eh, chewy like sours just saying is chewy and we can leave this because this also extends the dessert class so it will also run the two string from the dessert class and print information about your cake and cookie cool so i already instantiated cake i'm gonna go ahead now and do one for cookie i'll just do these one after another I don't know, peanut butter. And then for cookie, flavor, price, diameter is chewy. Flavor, price, 2.99. Diameter is three, Binge is sure, it's huge. And chewy, yeah, duh, all right. So we have that, I'm already printing out cake here. I'm gonna do something similar. Bam. And so these should both now actually run the two strings from these subclasses. And what that will do is output our new information, but it also runs the super two string. Lemon, yep, yep. Icing flavor apple gross. And then my cookie information. I could also leave this uncommented if I wanted. But, ta-da! I'm going back and forth on this. For clarity's sake, you also might want to do. It said to have them though in CH8 Kate object and cookie object, so that's why I did it in that order, but I did like it more like this. Bam. Cool. And so, guys, the really nice thing about this and the importance of subclasses and classes is it eliminates the need for redundant code. And what I'm saying about that is way down here, right? On cake, we have super to string, and cookie, we have super to string. Now, we could not use a dessert class and we would have this chunk this information slapped into each of these right but there's no reason to do that you're writing more stuff in that way and it you want to unify information that is in common it makes for better programs especially as programs get more complex so having subclasses is is critical and it allows for more functional programs Instead of rewriting everything, we can do super to string. Bam and bam. All right. I feel fancy. We're doing awesome. Uh, yeah. Onward.